Hello folks and welcome. Debian 12 Bookworm. GNOME desktop today. Version 43.4 and you can see the Linux kernel information at the top here. So uh, again this video is on Debian 12, the latest version of uh, Debian Bookworm. GNOME desktop. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks for new users. So uh, today I am filming in 1920 by 1080. This video will have timelines and chapters. I'm going to be talking about all kinds of tips and tricks, such as adding the minimize and maximize button to any window, and how to resize uh, icons and windows and that kind of stuff. Alt and F4. I'm also going to talk about this dock, how you can have it here all the time by adding a certain tool. Tips and tricks is basically what I'm going to be talking about today. I'm also going to show you how to install extra mouse pointers or cursors, or at least show you where they are located. So let me start with the file manager. Hamburger menu time. So your file manager is very basic and as far as uh, usability it's very powerful. It doesn't look like there's a lot of stuff under the hood but there is. Alright so first of all I'm going to talk about resizing the window itself and you can do the same with anything in here. Double click here, double click there, double click here. Okay, you notice I don't have a maximize and minimize, minimize buttons anywhere. I'll open up the, the web browser, Firefox, and let you see there's no buttons here. Okay, so a lot of people desire those, and I'm going to show you how to, how to activate them in a second. But you can also right-click on this window and maximize. Right-click and do a restore. So there is a move button here. I don't use that. I usually click and hold and then I can move this around. For resizing, I just grab a hold of the corners. Doesn't matter which one. Okay, so there's some options for you is what I'm getting at. You can also close the window here. You can also use Alt and F4. I'm gonna close and reopen this, Alt and F4. Now I'll reopen up the file manager. Let's talk about resizing the icons and then some special features you can do with your icons, especially thumbnails and PDFs and text files. We have the plus or minus key right here for resizing this icons. You can also uh, hold down your control key on your keyboard and hit plus, plus, plus to make it bigger, bigger, or minus, minus to make it smaller, smaller, smaller. That's the smallest. You can still hold down the control key and hit zero, not the O, zero to make it 100%. You can also do it my way. I'm gonna make this bigger and smaller just on the fly. What I'm gonna do is, I'm holding my computer mouse with my right hand and that one has a scroll wheel on it. In conjunction with the scroll wheel and my control key on my keyboard, I'm going to hold down the control key and scroll forward and scroll backward to resize icons. Scrolling forward, scrolling backwards, and then in between. Once I get into the size I want, I let go of the control key and they remain in the size. There's another tip for you. Opening up pictures. This file manager's behavior, not yours, is set for double click. If you decide to change that to single click, all bets are off. Because the stuff that I'm going to be showing you is all done with double click. Alright, first of all, depending on the size of this thumbnail, I may want a bigger version of that. Let's, let's assume you're in this mode with the small thumbnails. If you want a bigger version of that really quick, just click it once and hit the space bar on your keyboard. There's the preview of that. I'll do this computer guy here. Space bar to open, space bar to close. You can hear me tapping on that thing. Let me find another one. I believe that's the Oregon coastline. And also this one, Oregon coastline. Now I'm going to do this where it resizes and space bar to close. I'll click on the mushroom one more time. Space bar to open, move my mouse pointer down here, full screen. That's a larger image spacebar to close. Documents. This is a text file. Actually all three of them are text files. They are actually the same file. One has no extension. That's called a text and this is cabbage.txt. Spacebar to open. Spacebar to close. Spacebar to open. Holding down the control key. Resizing or should I say scrolling. Scrolling only. Sorry, resizing on that one. Got a little ahead of myself there. 
In either case, you can scroll normally. All right, that's a text file. Escape to close. Now, the PDF, on the other hand, you can do this a little differently. I'm going to hit the space bar to open, and now I'm going to hold down the control key to resize the innards, the information in here. All I'm doing is holding down the, scroll, the control key while scrolling to resize stuff. Full screen. Escape. Space bar to open, space bar to close. Space bar to open, scrolling normally, just scrolling up and down, space bar to close. Double clicking opens this tool in a different way. This is document viewer. All right, I'm gonna make this larger. I can still resize the innards. In other words, I'm holding down the control key while scrolling up and down with my computer mouse scroll wheel to resize the stuff inside. I can use the X in the corner. I can also use Alt F4. Alt F4 it is. Don't forget you can do the same thing in your web browser. I just have to be below this line right here with my mouse pointer cursor. Scrolling backwards, I'm holding down the control key, scrolling backwards to 30%, still holding the control key, scrolling forward to 500%. Now I'm going to scroll backwards to something more reasonable like 130%, and I'm going to let go of the control key and then scroll normally in the resized 130. I'm depressing and holding down that control key again. I'm holding down the control key, scrolling up to 170. I let go of the control key and now I'm in the 170 mode. Double click, double click. I still don't have those buttons yet and I'll talk about that next. So several ways of just doing that spacebar thing. And you can always double click to open. All right, I can also use Alt and F4 in this file manager. And now let's talk about those buttons. It's minimize, maximize in any window, including the web browser. Okay, I'll leave both of those open. And I'm going to click in here. Install extension manager. That's for the doc. The tool that I'm going to add the other two buttons, though, is already installed. And you're going to go, well, why isn't it on? You know, that's a question that you have to ask the developers. But more importantly, I'm going to show you how to activate those two buttons if you want them. If you want them. That's done with tweaks. You should already have tweaks installed. And uh, in Debian 12 bookworm, it's already installed. It should be. All right, so hamburger menu time. What does the tweak tool do? Lots of things. One of them is window title bars. Again, this is made for new users. Activate the maximize, minimize. Now you can see them here, here, and also in my web browser, which is this page here. All right, full screen or minimize. Your choice. Double click, still works if I do it right. I'm going to close this manually and continue. All right, so tweaks is used for a lot of things. The other thing I want to talk about is react, uh, or activating this mouse pointer a little bit later. But tweaks, I'm going to minimize that and leave it there. So the file manager again, resizing icons on the fly is easily done. And you can also get the preview by hitting the space bar on any of these images. You can also right click and set them as background. Another name for that is wallpaper. All right, background, wallpaper, all kind of same thing. Okay, change background. All right, in addition to the standard ones. So let's talk about this dock now. This dock normally hides itself. So you kind of depress your start key or your windows key or whatever that key is down there on your keyboard that's between the control and alt if you have one, or you click activities or something to that effect. Install extensions. That extension tool will allow you to install dash to dock cosmic. Dash to dock cosmic. You can configure it here. You can also configure it here. Now, when you first install this thing, you may want to check the settings because normally mine was disabled show apps. So I'm going to show you what that setting is. But in general, you can do the resizer. You can also uh, make this go completely from left to right. So let's talk about settings for a second. All right, uh, actually, I'll minimize that. 
I'll do a restore and I'll just move it down to here. I'm just trying to cover up the other window so we don't get all that stuff confused. So I'm going to start with Dinky. All right, that's the smallest. You can barely see those things. And then I'm going to go to the maximum. So these are the jumbo size or the maximum size icons. Something in between like a 96 worked well. You can also rearrange the furniture rather easily. Just click and drag. You can also eliminate these things by unpinning them. You can also extend this out. Okay, so it kind of looks like a long bar. All right, there's all kinds of things. Auto intelligently auto hide also. What does that mean? Well, normally when you have your web browser, it auto hides, right? Okay, maybe you didn't know that. Okay, so the window has to be X amount high before you see that dock. All right, if that makes sense. All right, moving along, let's talk about what's at the top here. We have a bunch of things we can click on. One of them is launchers. This one was off by default, at least on my machine. You may want to check that out. You probably want that, which is the application, show application box. That's probably a good benefit. So that's where that slide on. There's lots of options in here, folks. Way too many for me to discuss in this video. But you can experiment with this. I just wanted to talk about the basic ones. Okay. Dash to dock for Cosmic. To leave this thing open. Alright, I talked about the buttons and I talked about resizing information inside your web browser. Again, you need to be underneath this line when you resize stuff. I do have dedicated videos on web browsers when it comes to this kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, another one would be like Control T to add a tab. You know, so middle click that and close that. Again, a lot of that information is on different videos. But more importantly, resizing text on the fly. 30% is the smallest. Maximum size is 500. I'm holding down the control key again, just like in my file manager, to resize material in here. Resizing using the scroll wheel on my computer mouse. Once I get it to the size I want, let's say 130, I let go of the control key and now I can scroll normally. There's all kinds of tips and tricks I have. Okay. Closing. Alright, so we talked about the keys, talked about resizing icons, I talked about using the space bar to open a preview of a lot of things, and now I'm going to talk about where these mouse pointers or cursors are installed. This is not what you get with this desktop. This is what you get with your desktop this one here only there's nothing else installed only one cursor a black one the size of the cursor is adjusted in your settings though you can hit settings here you can right click on your screen hit settings here and you can click settings here let me open that up it's under the accessibility option menu under cursor size here's the smallest here's the largest not all mouse pointers or cursors are resizable in case you install others. One, two, three, four, five of these I've installed, and they're installed here. File Manager Time. Under the hamburger menu, you can uh, show hidden files, Control H. This is a very common command with all modern file managers for Linux. Control H. Control H it is. I can also click that. I can also resize these icons on the fly. What I want you to look for is this one right here. If you don't have it, you can right click and create that. Some Linux distributions auto create this when you click themes. There's several that I can think of. But in case you don't have a dot icons folder, which is a hidden folder, right click and create it. Just make sure you start with a dot or a period. That's where these are installed. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This one is not installed in there at all. That one's installed in USR share icons. That one's protected by root permissions. These are not. This is my local home folder, dot icons. So in my previous YouTube channel, I used to teach both methods. On my new YouTube channel, Linux for Seniors, I'm only teaching this method, but I will show you where they're located in case you want to do this. I could literally copy this. However, I need to log into my file manager in root mode. So, this is the Debian system. USR, 
share. Lots of files and folders are in here, or, or mostly folders. But uh, for our purposes, I am going to scroll down to the eyes and look for icons. The folder called icons, this one. I'm going to open up Tweaks and point to this default mouse pointer that you get installed with the system. It's the one and only, and it's that one. In USR, Share Icons Folder, Minimize. Click Open. I'm going to right click on the folder, hit Properties, and show you the ownership. It's owned by root. That would mean that I have to have root permissions to add and remove anything from this folder. Right-clicking, I can't do a move or copy. I can do a copy, but not a move or a delete. It won't allow me to, or even a cut, because I don't have permissions to any of these things, because all of these things are owned by root. So that is why I show this folder here, because the ownership of this folder is you, the user. In this case, Sam. It's just a made-up name. I, I like to have fun with different names. So you, meaning the owner of the folder here, the home folder, I can add as many of these things as I want. I installed all of these at the same time. I installed all of them at the same time. If you're a subscriber, and I highly encourage that you subscribe, look in my About section. Go scroll down below that and you'll find links. It goes to gnome-look.org, one of them. It's a nonprofit website, I believe, where most of your Linux distros get their material for pointers and themes. I'm going to show some interesting trick in here. My trash can is empty and I'm going to drag a box around these four guys and leave Radioactive alone and hit delete. They're all in my trash. I'm going to walk over to Tweaks and close this box and reopen it and let you see how many selections I have now. And you probably guessed it, there's only two now. I have the one that's installed in the USR Share Icons folder and Radioactive is installed in Dot Icons. Those are the two options. However, I can close this, go to the trash can, highlight all four, right click, and restore from trash. And close, open up Tweaks, and those should be back online. And there they are. One, two, three, four, five. What do they look like? If I haven't showed this yet, let me find the folder and uh, let me bring up tweaks right next to it. So this is the Amber, the Modern Classic, the Ice, the Pokemon, and you saw the other one, Radioactive. Okay, dot icons, Alt and F4. Recap time, you want to keep the dock open or investigate extension manager install dash to dock for cosmic and don't forget to configure it. You want to add some additional buttons like these, the minimize maximize button. Let me turn off hidden control H. You want to add these two buttons in here instead of doing stuff like this, or you can do both. Then go ahead and open up tweaks. Again, tweaks are, is already installed on your Debian 12 bookworm. It should be and activated through here. They'll be off. They'll look like this. So now I don't have those here. And I don't have my file manager. I'm sorry. The web browser currently. I'll let you see that in a better light here. All I got is the X. But once you activate these, you'll have the buttons everywhere. Including your web browser. Okay. So tweaks again can be used to activate mouse pointers. And again, the mouse pointers are installed in two locations, either in dot icons or USR share icons. Again, that folder is protected by root permissions. You can put all of these in there also. You just have to log into your file manager in root mode, which is more complex than doing it this way. Don't forget about uh, previewing files, spacebar to preview, whether it's a PDF or a text file, it doesn't matter, or an image. Spacebar, open and close. Double clicking opens it in a different way. X in the corner or Alt F4. Thank you for watching.